Hey everybody, it's Carol. I am the creative owner and blogger of BeInspiredMarkets.net. Welcome. I know that we're running a little late, but we're here. <laughs> There's always something going on behind the scenes. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Let us know where you're from. If you're a newbie, definitely comment newbie. Um, we have Bill watching comments, so he's going to take care of that. And uh, as always, ask questions as we're going to be doing this. So um, I know that originally we were thinking of tailgating, and that's still in the works. It's just our supplies didn't come. So instead, we're going to be doing a trash to treasure makeover, and I'm super excited. So if you guys might remember, um, hey, everybody. I know people are popping on. I can't see that far, though. <laughs> that's why Bill's watching comments. Um, Sue's on, Nicole's on, Diane's on, Patricia's on. They hey all say hi. Hi. Except for Sue. She says, hey, you two. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so if you guys might remember, uh, a couple months ago we had gone to Goodwill and I found this, um, these rolling pins at Goodwill. So these were the rolling pins. There were three of them. And these are like decorative rolling pins. These aren't rolling pins that you kind of worked with. They're just more decorative. Um, and I found them for $3. It was like $2.98 each, okay? I'm going to put this to the side. And I found them in this, like, crock pot. Is that, that's not a crock pot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is this, a crock of some sort? I don't know. <laughs> Terracotta pot, maybe? Yeah. I know it has a purpose, though. So, anyway, this is how it came. And then it had these cute little rolling pins. Well, back then, I was telling you guys, I wanted to share a way to make those rolling pins special. So this is going to be displayed on our counter underneath where we did all those bakery shelves and things like that. And uh, so tonight, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. So I'm super excited. So we're actually going to do it, and I have everything ready, I hope. But mind you, as we were going on, Bill goes, what are you painting those with? And I'm like, a paintbrush? Mm -hmm. the one that was sitting at the kitchen sink. So um, that's why he always helps me with all of that stuff. So we have the rolling pin we're going to paint, okay? And then what makes them so special, and this is perfect for Thanksgiving. So when you guys are doing your Thanksgiving dinners, uh, grab Grandma to the side and ask her if she has any recipes or anything like that because what we ended up doing We've had these. Bill has, I know the light's really white. You guys can't see. But this is Bill's granny's recipes. So we have it in her handwriting, and it says barbecue sauce for sloppy joes, which Bill has made for me, and it has been delicious. Um, beef stew in a crock pot. So she did that. Ma's baked beans. We have that. And macaroni and beef. So these are recipes that they've had in their family forever. But if you guys know, I love to, to repurpose and always put that special touch. So what I did is we're going to be using, not the originals, <laughs> we're going to be using copies. And I'm going to give you tips on how to do that. And I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek because I have some ready. But this is what we're going for. So if you guys can see, this has the recipes on here. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Isn't that cool? Okay, enough of the talking. Any comments? No, uh, comments Adeline says, hey, guys. Hey, Adeline. Patricia says, love old family recipes. Um, somebody said, meant to add that smeared image. I'm assuming your shirt, maybe. Yes, yeah. you know, that was one of our technical... That was the difficulty. Yes, I couldn't get the phone to flip or the iPad to flip. Um, my shirt says, pray, trust, wait, repeat. Uh, I have to do that every day. And the shirt is in, the, in our market. So it's on our, web, it's on our website, uh, beinspiredmarket.net. So sorry about that if it's backwards. But most of what we're working on isn't going to... You guys aren't going to even see all of that. So... Okay. Are you so, putting gloves on? Am I what? I'm putting gloves on, guys. <laughs> and we're not using a glue gun tonight. Uh, so it's just going to be paint and some Mod Podge. Mod Podge, I'll say it right. And, uh, and, and it's just going to be a sweet 
addition to our kitchen, and I love it. I, we've had these recipes for a while, and I've thought of doing certain things. We had seen, like somebody had done book ends with them, um, and that's really all I saw. Oh, and somebody had tagged me. Somebody actually did a wall, like a backsplash of recipes and stuff, which was super cool, and I didn't watch the video yet or see it, but like I said, it's always special to add something to your home that means something. So as you're getting along with, th you know, Thanksgiving, I don't know, maybe grab your mother's casserole recipe and have her write it out for you. Um, and I'm not going to get teary-eyed, but I don't have that. I don't have that for my mom. I have some recipes like in my head, but my mom didn't write them down. Um, so if you have those, you know, cherish them and, and find a way to use them in your home. Or if you have, you can also do this with, you know, if you have birthday cards. I mean, Bill's parents are huge on giving birthday cards. If there's a special saying or something that your mother wrote to you or your father or your grandmother or whoever, save that and make it into something special, you know? So, okay, enough talking. Let's get busy. <laughs> and remember, guys, also today what we will do at the end of the video, we have our Honey Pot giveaway. So the Honey Pot giveaway is every time we get to 50 viewers by spreading the honey, um, Bill will put three random names in our honey pot. Well, tonight, we're actually doing our first drawing for the month. So at the end of this video, we will draw the winner. Okay. Now, are the new names going in there? No. The new names are going to go for the drawing at the end of the month. Okay. Okay. So all I did with this is I sanded this down. When you get these from the store, you, know, you might, excuse me, have some things on here. <laughs> Don't lie. What? Uh, <laughs> What did you say? Um, nothing. Um, so I clean this well. And what I also do with this is I have furniture cleaner that I use, and then I clean it. The reason you want to clean everything before you paint it is if you don't, the paint could chip off. It could not adhere. So I clean this very well. And the paints that I'm using are Waverly uh, White and Waverly Ink. So you can get those at Walmart. Okay, what I found to be the easiest is we're going to do, I guess I shouldn't have put my gloves on, sorry guys. <laughs> That's why I don't usually work with gloves. So, so welcome, welcome. If you are a newbie, comment newbie, and Bernie Bot will send you a welcome message. You just have to answer him back. So, all right. So the easiest way that I find to do this is I'm going to tape off the handles first. Okay, so you just go around the edge, get that. go around the edge and it just helps me stay a little neater when I paint the edges. So has anybody done anything like, is there something you preserved of your family members or you have in your home that you might be looking at right now that has a special memory? Shauna and newbie, are, uh, Sh Shauna and newbie, Shauna, <laughs> Shauna and Peg are newbies. Oh, welcome. We uh, we have been sharing so many DIYs. We do have them up on the website with more to come. So definitely, if you hit the learn more button on the page, but definitely give our page a like and a follow. Um, I'm so excited, guys! We're almost at six thousand. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys know that. I hope you know that. Um, I did put some projects out on the website. So if you missed something, go check it out. And I'll be adding more and more and more. So, okay. So all we did with that is we just took the painter's tape. And I'm keeping mine black and white. Just keeping it simple. If you want to do a color, you can do a color. Um, I should put my gloves back on, but I really don't want to. <laughs> That seems like a lot of work, but it will save me in the end because if you've been following for a while, you guys know I'm a messy painter. <laughs> I think on one of our lives, the one time the girl, somebody, one of the followers was like, girl, you got paint all over you. I'm like, mm -hmm. Oh, Peg, Peg had a good idea. She said she color copied one of her mom's recipes last year and included it in their Christmas card. 
Oh, see, that's, that's an sweet. Awesome idea. That's a cool idea. Very sweet idea. Yes. Yes. Those memories that you have growing up, favorite recipes, you know, there's there's always something that reminds you of home. And and I just love that. I really do. Adeline said, I have I she's painted some rolling pins and written words with Ray Dunn lettering, added some ribbons, but love the idea of the recipe. Might have to get my mom to write up some recipes. Yeah. She, and she said you made me tear up when you mentioned your mom. Aw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. My mom's been gone for 20 years now. But uh, yes, that's why it's so important. Um, and especially now with the holidays coming up, I mean, how many aunts and uncles and grandmas and everybody you're going to see? I mean, this is the perfect time to get that, um, you know, get those memories. So all I did was paint. Okay, we're at 48. One. We only need two more. Two more to put some names in. Yay. All right. So let me put this to the side. There we go. 52. <laughs> 52. Okay. We'll let that dry, and Bill will pick three names to put in the honey pot for a drawing at the end of the month. Okay. Let me take this. So I'm taking this off. It just gives you a clean edge. Put this over here. So appreciate you guys hopping on and spreading the honey. It's so awesome. We've got so many things lined up for DIYs. But this one, if you guys remember, I did want to share with you how we were going to do this and kind of figure out what we're going to do. Okay. Bill's going to make his announcement soon. Good there, good there. All right. Put the white. So I'm going to just spill some white out on here. This is tough because the comments just keep coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you get seen. That's when you comment, that's how you get picked because that's, Bill, that's how he picks his name. See, look at that. I'm already dripping. <laughs> look at that. Hey, guys. So we got uh, Sharon, Sharon Sackett. She's going in. Awesome. Congrats. Patricia Hartsock. Yay. And Peg Watson Ebert. Sweet. Three awesome. of them are going in, but I'm wiggling the lid, but I'm not putting them in because we have to do the drawing. At the end. At the end for the half a month. Yes. So, yes. But these are off to the side. They will go in. I promise you they will go in. <laughs> Thanks, I've written them guys. down. I folded them up. So now we got to get to 100. We're yes. at 52. How easy is that? Let's get to 100. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so as you see, all I'm doing is taking the white paint and my brush. My paint, obviously, on my handle is still uh, wet, but this is, I have one ready for us that we're going to work on so that you guys aren't waiting for me. Now, what I found with this is it Mary takes... Mary Harper said Bill needs to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I don't get paid enough. He not, doesn't not get enough. paid. I don't get paid at all. He doesn't. We need to get to 100, though, 100. Oh, yes. He's got to do his job. That's what he's got to do. Um, so this takes about two coats of paint. One thing when you're doing paint, it's important. Do your first coat. Let it dry and then come back and do your second coat. Because all if you keep just piling paint on there, you're just going to end up pulling it and you're just going to end up smearing it. So this is going to get covered up anyway with what I'm excited to show you guys. Um, but just, you know, you want an even coat. And if, you know, if you do your first coat and you find some bumps or something, you can always sand it and then put your second coat on. So, and this is chalk paint that I'm using, but I'm sure it would use, it would work, you know, with acrylic paints, I think, because we're going to be putting a sealer over it anyway. See, guys, that's what my hands will look like. <laughs> um, and so, again, I'm just doing black and white. I think I'm done with paint. Okay. What? Kayla said, wow, I love this idea. Now I know what to do with my rolling pins. Thank you. Yes. Yes. This is, I love this idea. Like I said, this is going to go on our uh, counter and this is, you know, this is what it looks like. And, and anyone that so doesn't cool. have rolling pins, they are easy to find. Check your Goodwill, yes. check your family thrift and check any flea markets that are out there. And what's nice about the flea markets is obviously the wheel and deal. So the more you buy, the better deal they're going to give you. But, um, we had also purchased some from a flea market too. So yes, um, actually, these were from these were from Goodwill. Those were from Goodwill. Yes, yes. But the other ones we have, the bigger ones, 
The ones you were going to make book and cook oh, yes. your cookbooks with? Yes. Maybe that's another live. Um, mm -hmm. Those ones we still needed to cut in half. Yes, those those we had. But rolling pins you can get. Like I said, these were decorative, and they were only two ninety eight dollars each. Okay, so you get your piece painted, and we're going to be covering it up. That's I chose white just so a color won't come through because what I want is the recipes. I want you to be able to look at the rolling pin and see the recipes. So, and I did a little spit on it, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. All right, I'm going to move this paint away. And then I have one ready to go. <laughs> so you guys aren't waiting for paint to dry. I'm not bringing out the heat gun that I always. Kind of like those cooking shows when they yeah. cook something and then they go, oh. <laughs> All right, let me get this off. So we're, not, we're done with paint. Now we're going to do the fun part. So, okay. And the sander I just had, it was if I was going to sand, but I think right now I think we're good. I might use it at the end. Okay. Gloves off, my hands are clean. I have to admit that was a good idea. Okay. That was me. <laughs> yes, that was Bill. So, so keep spreading the honey, guys. If you love this idea and have a friend that might want to, to do this, you know, do a craft night with some friends. Always fun to get together and do something. And why not do something fun that's going to be in your home and you're always going to have a... We're, I can't wait to show Bill's parents this. They... they like, sometimes they look at me like, what are you going to do with that? And then when they see it, they're just like, oh. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the rolling pin. It's painted black, white. This is where the fun part comes in. All right. What you're going to need. Mary Harper said, ha, a spin on a rolling pin. Nice one. <laughs> that is pretty funny. That is funny. <laughs> kind of witty. Um, okay, so what you're going to need. So this is what I thought. If you've done Mod Podge and paper and you've done it on a flat surface, card start works. card stock works. On a curved surface, if the paper's too thick, it's hard to roll it. It's hard to maneuver it. It starts to it doesn't work right. So I was trying to think of a way of doing this, and I kind of like went on YouTube and I was looking, but I didn't see this. I just saw people doing it with tissue paper, but I was like, oh, that seemed a little too complicated. It's like you had to put it on something and put it through your printer. And I'm like, there's got to be an easier way. So if you follow on Instagram, <laughs> and if you don't, please follow, because we're going to have a giveaway there uh, coming up, because you guys rock. We needed to get to 500 followers, and I think we're at 525. So if you comment Instagram, Bernie Bot will send you um, a message and then you'll get our link to go follow us there. But I do a lot of behind the scenes. So the behind the scenes was Michael. I ran to Michael's and I'm like, I gotta figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. What I found in Michael's, which worked perfectly, is, and I'm, I know I'm gonna say it wrong, so I'm sorry. It's called Clear Vellum, Vellum V E L L U M. It's this paper. Look at that, I already got paint on it. <laughs> We don't need this sheet though. So what it is, it's thinner and it's more pliable. So this works perfect and I'm gonna tell you how I did it. All right, I'm gonna take you step by step. Bought the paper, okay? I made copies of the recipes. So the, the first I did the copies of the recipes on regular sheets of paper, okay? Then I needed something interesting. I needed it not just to be, you know, the words. I know the lights were, uh, and I'll lower it later. Later, But I wanted something, like, unique. Like, you can see. You guys see? That's a B. <laughs> um, and so I went on Etsy, and I started, go, like, searching. And they have digital paper. So what digital paper is, is somebody, you pay for it. I paid, and I'll give you guys, it's, it's Artsy Maze. She has digital paper. So I purchased it and I downloaded it. It was like four bucks. And basically what I did is then I printed that on my regular printer paper. Okay, so that's step one. Print your recipes, print whatever. She's got so many, she's got beautiful flowers. So I picked the B one. <laughs> um, and I printed that. Then I went back and I kind of went through the pictures. Let me show you guys. So this is... Gonna see. So this is kind of how it comes. You just print it 
on regular paper and there's just beautiful designs and I kind of was looking to see how to get the recipe on some of these cards. So I ended up reducing it, getting it down, I cut the recipes out, I placed them on here and then I made one copy, okay? And I just wanted the placement. So that's kind of how I did it. So you guys can see like, I'm, oh, you guys can't see, sorry. So on this one, there's a recipe right there. So that's what I did. I just cut it out, I put it on there, I made one copy. When I was happy with it, then I put the special paper in the printer, hit copy, and printed it out like this. Look at that. Can you see it's like see-through? So this is what the recipes are on. And there's, like I said, so this one right here has a recipe. This one was a really cute, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a tag, it's got a little B right there, and then there's the recipe. So I wanted to make it more interesting. And then right there, we have a little B, and then we have the recipe right there. That one says Ma's baked beans. <laughs> and then this one is the beef stew in, in the crock pot. So that's all I did. So I kind of maneuvered, manipulated, maneuvered, whatever you wanted to do. I got a pretty background. I put the recipe on that and then I made a copy and then put it through the printer. I left mine black and white. You could do it colored. You could do whatever you want. You can, you don't need digital paper. Maybe just try it, you know, on cardstock. I don't know, but get your recipes on something like that. Or if that doesn't interest you, then just make a copy of your recipes on the paper. And then that's what we're going to do. Okay, does anybody have questions? I know that was a lot. No questions. No questions. Janet okay. said she always finds cool things. I clicked on thinking where the heck did she get that huge spool? <laughs> what spool? Oh, this? I'm assuming the huge spool, yeah. She probably <laughs> thought that, that was one big huge spool. Okay, let me make sure I have no, of course, let me get this out of the way. I just don't want to make, I want to make sure I don't have any paint anywhere. So this is the fun part. Sandy said I just hopped on. Glad you're back. Oh, thank you. We, have, we are too. It was really chilly up there. Yes. So for those that may be new, we were, were originally from Chicago and uh, relocated to Florida about two years ago. And for the fall, we go to Door County. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Door County, Wisconsin. Is there two Door Counties? I don't know, but you always say Door County. And some people might be like, I have no idea where Door County is. Okay. <laughs> Northern Wisconsin. Northern Wisconsin. It was absolutely beautiful, but it was 43 degrees. It was cold, rainy, um, but it was fine. We yes, got Sandy, to see. we do have Florida blood. She <laughs> said, you have Florida blood now. Yes, we do. I know. My family always gets mad at me. They're like, I was in you know, Chicago for 40, I don't know, we'll say 40 plus years and uh, moved to Florida and everybody's just like, you know. It gets into the 70s. It's chilly here. It is chilly. Yeah. No pants, okay. just shorts and a sweatshirt. So let's get started. So all we're going to do is you just cut your recipe out, or your little paper. And like I said, I found this paper worked really well because it was pliable, like I said. So you guys loving this? Am I getting some hearts? <laughs> I don't know how many we have. Are we putting more names in the honey pot too? No. Oh. <laughs> Way to be blunt. Uh, well, let's go spread the honey. Spread the Here honey. Here some hearts. But I hope you guys like this. Like I said, this is the perfect time when you're with your family and you're with your, you know, uh, relatives and everybody's sharing things. So this, Janet like I said. said it's so cool that he works and shops along with you. Oh, he yes. I love it. Yes. Bill yes, and I, I work. work. Yes, I work. I have a job. What are you talking about? <laughs> they still haven't figured out what you do. No. Um, Bill and I work from home together, and um, yeah, we pretty much we do everything together. So it's fun, though. It really is. I have to say, when you're with the right person, it's easy, right, ladies? It's easy. Suzanne said, "Cute puppy." <laughs> Mia. Mia keeps walking around back there. Oh. And if you saw Instagram, like I said, I think I shared a story. We have a cat, Lily. I don't even know where she She's is. She's special. And she, uh, I shared a story 
her bite my toes. Does anybody else have a cat that does that? Lily got mad because we left for a couple days, so she, like, doesn't eat. But she walks around like she wants something and then, you know, rocks up to you and bites your toes. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's Lily. She's in there. Is she? She walked up. Yeah, she walked up in there. <laughs> Janet did you hear? Photo bomber. <laughs> the dog. Did you did you hear your name? She no. doesn't know her name. <laughs> no, I think because I think she's deaf. <laughs> okay, so this all I'm doing is cutting out, and some of it might be too big. I'll I'll play with it later. Judy said, "Spread the honey." I love this idea. I have a lot of my northern grandma's recipes oh. and my southern mama's recipes. Awesome. I've heard that before, mama's. That's awesome. Yes, it's so special. And we've made the Sloppy Joes. I don't know if we've made, have we made anything else, honey? Uh, the beans, I think we did. We made the beans. The beans and the Sloppy Joes, but the Sloppy Joes are the best. Yes. Maybe, maybe, just maybe I'll have Carol share the recipe with you guys. <laughs> it will be the best Sloppy Joes you've ever had. There's nothing out of a can. Nothing no. out of a can. No. It's, it's ground made. beef, it's ketchup, it's a little sugar, it's a little vinegar, little onion, little green pepper. They are the best sloppy joes. Like it makes your mouth, like my mouth is watering right now. We, <laughs> we just got done eating. So yeah. No. And it's just, like I said, it's so special to be able to have it and then know that Bill has memories with that and stuff. So it's, I love it. Sue just said cats are like men, selective hearing. <laughs> what did you, Sue, hold on. What did you say, Sue? Hello, Sue. I can't hear you, Sue. Oh my gosh. That's too but funny. That, but that's true, and it's funny. That is true. Okay. So basically all I did was cut out the recipes, and then this specific paper has, like, really cool um, just, like, letterings and things like that that I'm going to be using to kind of, if I need to cover up some spaces. Now, you don't have to cover the whole thing up. You can just... Do it however you like. If you want to just maybe put a few of them on there and leave some of it painted. I did mine completely um, with the paper. So and let me, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So we're going to look to get the least amount of wrinkles. But this paper helps. So let me get this out of the way. Adeline said, oh, I would love that recipe. Yeah. Yeah, Adeline, so we will share would. it. Well, maybe, maybe. Maybe, if Calm we get down. to 100. That's my grandma's. That's actually my grandpa's. That's actually my grandpa's recipe. Sloppy Joe recipe that I think my dad said he got from his dad. That's how long it's been around. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's how long it's been around. So. Sorry, I didn't mean to have my back to you guys. Um, yes, it's been around forever. Okay, so now I have my recipes cut out. I don't need the... I'm not used to sitting, but it's really hard to do this and stand. So I'm trying to give you guys the best view so you guys can see. Sue, uh, Sue just said LOL. See? See? What, did somebody say something? I can't hear you. <laughs> Sue, did you say something? <laughs> You're good. Okay. I'm going to go back to the football game. Uh, and then Gayla said, love the craft, but you two are so entertaining. <laughs> You're always good for a laugh. That's uh, basically our daily life. This is our daily life. Like Carol said, we work together. We both work from home. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's just a just a bunch of laughs. <laughs> it's always good. Okay, so I'm just putting some Mod Podge <laughs> on here. All right. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Denise Pop. said my recipe would be easy: one pound of hamburger, one can of sandwich, and one pack of buns. Denise, this recipe I promise you is super easy. I I brown the the ground beef in a pan. And then all the rest of it goes in a crock pot. All the rest of it goes in a crock pot. It, th it's the best way to do it. And then all the other ingredients I just said. But um, Oh, and there's uh, Worcestershire. I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. Worcestershire in there. So, But, yeah, you guys will love it. I'll, I'll have Carol share it. Okay. So all I like to do is I like to kind of eyeball where I'm going to put stuff, just so that it makes it easier to get it on here. Gonna go. This one's it's not a very thick. Let's see which one I want to do better. Oh, that's cool. You guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna start with that one. I think I'm gonna do that. So you can have them go every which way. The bottom line is 
Somebody's going to pick this up and they're going to be like, oh, that's really cool. And then they're going to see the recipe. It's not like the recipes are point blank on there. They don't have to be perfect. <laughs> we don't go to it and say, oh, wait, we got to make the sloppy joes. It's just the thought. It's just the thought. So if it's not perfect, you're okay. You're okay. All right. So this piece seems really good. That one goes all the way around. I'll be able to get that one on there. If I don't get all four on this one, it's okay. I have some on here. And then I have, like, like I said, a cute. The B means something to us, obviously, B inspired market. Um, check out our story. I did share that on our page uh, in the pin post uh, where the B inspired market came to be. And uh, so that's special to us. So I kind of like incorporated both of them. Oh, that one's cool too. See? This but, might just turn into a cooking show. Sue just said, <laughs> wait, what did you say, Sue? Oh, hold on. Sue's talking. Hold on, Sue. Sue said, sounds close to barbecue chipped ham we used to make. On the uh, Sloppy Joe. Oh, there you go. All right. So with Mod Podge, oh, I got this at Michael's today too. Did you know that they have a Mod Podge applicator? I got it. <laughs> Bill's probably like, what? I'm sure you can check Amazon and they have it too. They so. have it too, I'm sure. Okay. So all I'm going to do with Mod Podge, less is better because that helps you get less bubbles. Gayla said, wow, I just, I've just seen another member of family. Was that a dog or a cat? I don't know. I, Gayla, I don't know. We, we have just, one dog and one cat. We just have the two. We have a dog, which is a boxer, and then we have a cat that is deaf. <laughs> she's I mean, not Or as Sue she's says, not so, deaf. Selective, selective hearing. No. And we have a family of raccoons out front. Oh, yes, we Because we have a huge palm tree in the front of our house, and it drops these little berries. And every night there's like a whole family of six of them that all basically just sit there eating the berries until we get very close. And then like, okay, well, we better leave now. Yeah, you better leave when I open the door. <laughs> okay, so I'm really just putting a thin coat of the Mod Podge. Okay. And then, wait, let's see. And all I'm doing is lining it up with the top, okay? So that's kind of what it looks like, all right? And with round surfaces, you're gonna go from the inside or from the center, and you're gonna get wrinkles. I mean, it's, it's, you're gonna try not to, but you're gonna get it. So, a little bit. You just wanna obviously, got this little handy thing too. I'm just full of tools. Sue, did you just say something? <laughs> no, Sue, what? Okay, oh, sorry, Sue. Yet. I was busy doing something else. I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> she said, do I need to type louder? <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's funny. Mary Harper said, uh, raccoons are trash pandas. Oh, I've never True. heard of that. Okay, we'll use that thing later. The hand works better. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm pushing it down to get as many bubbles out as possible. Okay? Karen Harlow said, just hopped on. And I just thought Carol said, lust is better. What? <laughs> less, less is better. I less, gotcha. Less mod, mod and Janet, podge. Janet already corrected her. She said, sorry, Karen, wrong page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I have this little, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like a brailler, brailler, something, whatever. Roller. Roller. A roller on a, a stick. A roller on a roller. A roller on a roller stick. Okay, can you see that? Isn't that awesome? So you just, so we're going to do some more. There you go. We're going to do this one over here. So that one was the barbecue sauce. I'm going to put more Mod barbecue Podge. Barbecue sauce? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Barbecue sauce. Oh, I thought that was Ma's baked beans. No, this one's barbecue sauce. Three tablespoons vinegar, three tablespoons sugar, three tablespoons. Don't give them the whole recipe. <laughs> we need to get to 100 views. Yeah, so we can put more names in the honey pods. And we're going to pick our winner from... Mary, Mary said, I don't know what I just said. I sometimes lust over craft supplies. <laughs> LOL. Carol does too. If, I do too. If it too. came down to date night or going to Hobby Lobby, it would definitely be Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby wins. Okay, so this... Actually, I'm going to go... And Sandy just said, we have a Florida panther that has taken up residence at the end of my street. <laughs> Ooh, we live panther. out in the country. Panther. What? Where does she don't, live? Don't tell Carol that. Hopefully you don't live anywhere near us, Sandy. 
<laughs> Carol, never go outside. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I saw my first snake, um, I don't even know when, and it was in the backyard and asked me the last time I've been in the backyard. <laughs> so that, no. I grew up in Chicago, like the city of Chicago. I didn't grow up in the suburbs. I grew up in the city. We had alleys. <laughs> the closest thing we had to anything was, you know, I didn't even, mice. That was probably the Rats. only thing. They didn't have rats. Oh, I the lived. city of Chicago has rats. Don't even start. Downtown Monica might just have said, rats. But Monica just said, what are we making? Sorry, I had dinner plans with a school friend. We are making rolling pins, and we're decoupaging them, and we are putting family recipes on there. So, so and thank Adeline you. said, come on, people. I can't believe we don't have more people watching. You two are a riot. <laughs> I agree, Adeline. Why is that? Some nights we get 100, some nights we get 150, and tonight we're averaging right around 45 people. But I will tell you, we do get a ton of views after. Yes, the, yes. The views light up, but we want the lives. I want people to see this and experience it live. Yes. Right? But live. replays are good, too. So if you're watching the replay, welcome. And this paper that I'm using, I did get from Michael's, but I did find it on Amazon. So if you want that link, just comment info. Um, and you guys know I like to share that. And that reason is because, you know, when you're watching somebody, you want to know what they're using. I mean, if you're going to go recreate this, um, you know, sometimes it is hard. Yeah, we're not going to leave you guys hanging. Yeah. Right? We're not going to leave you hanging. You, want the, you guys want the Sloppy Joe recipe? I need to see <laughs> thumbs up and hearts for the Sloppy Joe recipe. <laughs> and you never know, Ma's Baked Beans. I mean, I kind of know what those are. I remember making them a long time ago. But Ma's Baked Beans, that's my grandma on my mom's side, oh. and uh, yeah, her name was Candace Johnson, and um, they called her Candy. Yeah, and no, no, they didn't call her Candy. Oh, they didn't call her Candy. No, they didn't call her Candy. They Sorry. called her Candace or oh. Ma. <laughs> and then, uh, and uh, that was th that's those beans are basically a meal in themselves. Meal in themselves. So. Very cool. Okay, so all again, you just kind of go around. Where do these people live? Hold on. Denise just said, my grandkids swear Bigfoot lives in our backyard, but it's most likely a bear. What? <laughs> and then, hold on. Somebody else said, uh, I'm sorry. I know you're doing the craft, but we you're have fine. other things to worry about right now. <laughs> uh, Mo Minnie said, welcome to Florida. Wait till a bear is taking a swim in your pool. Don't tell her that, please. Don't let <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Sue, I can't hear you. I don't know what you're saying, Sue. Actually, I haven't seen a comment from Sue in a while. Uh, Mary Harper said, my sister won't move to Bama. Carol, that's Alabama. Yeah. Okay. I know. Just it. making sure, Carol, because of the snakes. Oh. Uh, Janet said, we just saw three snake skins, uh, three snake skins in our backyard. And then she went, eek. Yeah. yeah. I would run. I'm not a big fan of snakes. Um, I don't think any. Well, and then Sandy people. said, I'm with Carol. I'm not walking. I'm not walking right now. As long as he's there, I'm staying home. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I don't know if panthers are aggressive or not, but I would think they are. I mean, I don't know. I would think they are, too. Sandy, I guess it depends who you're walking with and how fast you can run. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I used to go up to Wisconsin all the time, and we used to have black bears up there. But really, to be honest, I, I think I could outrun most of the people I was walking with. So <laughs> I didn't really have a problem. Plus a good trip or a push, in the, a push down or something. Gives you a head start. Honey. Um, oh, Sue did say. What, Sue, did you say something? Sue did <laughs> say something. She said the paper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let Carol pronounce it. Is it V-E-L-L-U-M? It, Valium? Yes. Yeah. Honey, I don't. <laughs> I was about to say, how do you say that, guys? <laughs> well, they can't. It's so hard. All they're doing is typing it. <laughs> Sue, say it again. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sue? <laughs> Sue, can you pronounce it for us? I, I, I can't uh, hear you. That's too funny. And I am now paying attention. It was it was in the regular um, paper section at Michael's. Okay. Yes, so as all you guys commenting. see, I'm going past it. Past it. I'm just cutting the piece of paper. I'm kind of you know finding certain spots that I want to put it on, and then you know again you're going to have bubbles. I don't really know. I think Sandy lives in a zoo. Sandy, are you <laughs> sure you don't live in a zoo? She said we drove into our house the other day and there was a very big bobcat in our driveway. No, I, I think you're at the Florida Zoo, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you ended up at the zoo. 
Oh my God, too funny. Okay, and Sue's, Sue's mad at me now because she just said, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I know women, Sue, and that means go back to watching your football games. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, I'll let Carol continue. Okay, so let me get this last piece in here. Actually, you could probably do it on the paper too instead of on there. Of course, it's on my table. That might be a little easier. Yeah, that actually is a little, when you have like little pieces like that, and the iPad says full memory. So hopefully I don't lose you guys. Okay. And then the last one. I won't lose you guys. I hope because sometimes I it turns you off. Um, so that's what we're going for. So like, so basically, and stay tuned because we're going to be drawing the winner. Um, so you're taking the paper, you're printing it. Um, I do want to get this up on a blog post, but we do have some posts, some videos from Facebook on our website, so visit beinspiredmarket.net. But how cool is that? I mean, look at that. Can you guys see that? I don't have the light, but you can see the black and stuff. But there's just a whole bunch of recipes on here. And then, you know, once you have everything where you want it, you then take the Mod Podge and you put a coat. And that's what this is, so it's sealed. So it stays on there. These are decorative. I'm not rolling any pie dough with it or anything like that. These are decorative. So it really You haven't sits. made a pie in I don't know how long. Honey, don't go there. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Right? So, so this is, and I might paint this. I don't know yet. I kind of like it, the terracotta color. Um, and with terracotta, I don't know if you guys knew that too. You could sand it down. So like here it had some marks and stuff. You just take some sandpaper and do that. But this is what you go for. Let me do it that way so you guys can see. So you have that look. Where's my third one? Oh, my third one is Sandy that lives in Fort Myers. That's too close to us, Sandy. Oh, Sandy does. Yes. I know Sandy. But I she mean, said I know Sandy there's either. a lot of wildlife <laughs> by her. Oh. And then she said, my, my family is the zoo. <laughs> Who's this, right? Who's this? That's so funny. You guys are awesome. You guys, I so appreciate everybody coming on here. Adeline we had just so asked. Much fun. I'm assuming it, she, she's asking where you got the terracotta pot. She said, where did you get it? This was all Goodwill. So the pot, the terracotta pot was five bucks. And then these um, decorative rolling pins were $2.98. So for a memory that we will have on our countertop of Bill's, Granny's recipes or Grandpa's recipes, this was two, four, six. Right, no, three, six, nine, and then five, fourteen dollars. And the paper was probably three dollars. That's it. So seventeen dollars. This is what we have. I don't count paint when I do it. I have paint anyway. <laughs> um, Which most crafters are going to have. Most crafters paint. have. That's so, something you're going to reuse over and over and over again. Yes, yes. And and the four dollars, so twenty one dollars was for the digital paper. But you don't have to do the digital paper. You could just again print it out on that special paper. I like this paper. One, it's translucent, so it really doesn't show like paper. It looks like it's more written on there and the white background. So when you're really looking at this, it looks like it was painted on or handwritten on. It just has a very cool look to it. Everybody keeps saying it looks like a spool. I don't know what looks like a spool. Oh, maybe because uh, it's stuck, stick, sticking out of there. Um, no. But yeah, how cool is that? So I hope you guys like that or love that. Uh, again, well, even the front of that terracotta pot, it has a little spot if you wanted to chalk paint on it or something. You could put recipes or, I don't know, rolling pins or storage or. I could probably, yeah, we might leave it or we might paint it. I'm leaning towards leaving it. You guys tell me, paint it or leave it. <laughs> um, you guys can comment. I'll definitely go back. If you guys ask questions and we missed it, uh, you guys know I always go back and answer your questions. If you ever have any DIY questions or would love to share some ideas and love to see me do them, um, message the page. Suzanne said, I definitely need on. to start buying Mod Podge in larger containers. Yeah. I go through it so fast. I do too. And in fact, I have two because I didn't remember I had another big bottle. Uh, in the Karen back. said, can we get a close up of the pin? Yeah, let me see if I it's can get It's hard it. to see because the light is so bright, Karen. Um, but you know Carol always posts pictures afterwards. Yeah, I do post pictures after. So. But you can see it's like it's written. I'm trying to get it in the light. So I know the light's a little bright. Let me get the light a little down maybe. You guys can see. So that's kind of how it looks. 
Yeah, it's still kind of bright. It's still kind of bright. Yeah. There you Connie go. Connie said you should paint the terracotta. That's what I said too, Connie. Paint the terracotta? Yes. Lisa said leave it. <laughs> Tammy well, said paint it black. Paint it black. Stephanie LeBue just joined. Oh, Everybody nice. say hello to Stephanie LeBue. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, so we're going to pick our Honey Pot winner. And, and definitely give this a try. Hit up your relatives for uh, recipes. How fun is that? Okay, honey, pick the winner. Kayla said, can you buy the paper at Walmart? She said that she doesn't have a craft store by her. Uh, Walmart, you could try. I don't see a I'm lot of paper selections. I'm guessing you could get it on Amazon, too. I did. If you yeah. post, um, if you comment info, uh, Bernie Bot will send you a message. And then it gives you um, our Amazon store. And I put it in the craft supplies <laughs> list. Everybody's saying hello, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Stephanie LeBeau. You Thank so you for joining. Fun. You guys are fun. Yes, yeah, so and Mary said you could probably get it from Amazon. Yes, Amazon definitely has it. So um, check that out. I'm not sure. At Walmart, I don't think they really have too much uh, paper, but they could. They could. Um, okay, honey. Are we just picking one name? Yeah, we're picking our one name. hot winner for our first one half name. of October. Okay, I'm sticking my hand in there and mixing it around. And the winner messages and gets a prize sent to them. Oh, you picked it out already? Well, I already had it mixed up. Oh! And the winner is Nancy Kraus. Nancy, you, you're lucky. Nancy just had um, Happy Mail sent to her. She won the apple cider giveaway we had at our last live. So Nancy, I already have your address, so I will be sending you out the Honey Pot Prize this week. Um, and so Nancy and Phyllis and uh, Tess, your apple ciders are coming your way. We sent those out to you. Um, I have happy mail going out to the, the followers um, that were so generous. My daughter is running a St. Jude um, found, or fundraiser that I shared on the page. It's in the feed, and everybody that donates gets happy mail from me. So I appreciate the followers that have. Um, and happy mail is coming your way. So I'll be sharing that post again, too. My daughter works for hard to raise money for St. Jude. So anything I can do to help her. Uh, Carol just said, join, just joining just joining in and sprinkling. Oh, thanks, we guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for all that spread the honey. Connie said, hi, Stephanie. Lori said, paint it black, the terracotta pot. I like okay. Janet's idea, too. She said, buffalo check it. Yep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Adeline said, who is Stephanie? <laughs> and then Lisa said, hello, Stephanie. Peg said, congrats. Mary Harper. But Peg, hold on, Peg, because you're in it for the new one. Yes. Peg's Peg Watson Eber, you're in it for the new one. That one, your name didn't go in that one. So hold tight because you have a chance to win too. So Mary Harper, the next, at the end of the month, right? Yes. At the end of the month. Yes. Mary Harper said, ooh, I like the Buffalo check idea. I do too. Tammy said, congrats, Nancy. Congrats, Nancy. Sandy said. Sue said, congratulations, Nancy. Mary Harper said, congrats. Hey, uh, Sandy, watch out for the Panthers and the Bears and everything. <laughs> um, make sure all your gates are locked at the zoo. Uh, Janet said, congratulations. Karen said, congrats. Cindy said, congratulations, Nancy. Awesome. Um, Peg said, I had my fingers crossed to win, but congrats, Nancy. But Peg, you weren't in that one, I don't think. Because if I remember right at the beginning of this, you said you were new, so you're in the drawing for the end of the month. Yes. So keep your fingers crossed, but don't keep them crossed for the next, <laughs> whatever, what do we got, 15 days or something? Don't keep them crossed that long, but We're wait till we get to the end of the month, and then, then you can cross your fingers again. Yes. So, again, we appreciate everybody spreading the honey. We appreciate you guys spending your time. I hope you love this um, DIY. I will post the finished pictures, um, and I'll post, again, the supplies that I used tonight. Um, and it's just been fun. Uh, we haven't seen you guys in a while, so it's nice to be back. If you're new, we typically do lives Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. I feel like I have my own TV show. <laughs> um, and definitely follow us on Instagram. If you comment Instagram, Bernie Bot will get you over that link. Uh, we do a lot of behind the scenes. So I can see some hearts coming through. So I appreciate you guys. Check Thank out the you. website if you're looking for other yes. videos, right? You just uploaded a whole bunch yep. of other videos. If you like this project, if you're new and you like this project, go check out BeInspiredMarket.net, mm -hmm. and there's a whole bunch of other videos on there. Yes. Check them out. I mean, I don't know. How many did you just upload? You just uploaded. Uh, there's about 20 or 25 of them. About 20 or 25. Did you see her shrug her shoulders? 
That was a lot of work for her to upload all those on there. We also have them on Facebook, but I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that it's easier to view them on beinspiredmarket.net. Yes. Um, Because there's a search bar, and you can just type in um, mixer. Yes. And it'll pull up what she did to a mixer. Pick mm -hmm. something in your house and put it on there. I would almost guarantee that she's probably done something. Yeah. You to can that. do a search for pumpkins. You can do a search for Christmas or fall or something like that. More are coming. This obviously will eventually be going up there. Janet um, said we appreciate both of you. Gayla uh, said Carol really loved this idea. I'm glad you. I'm glad I caught you live. Awesome. Sue said you two are great. I'm assuming she means you and the dog, <laughs> um, because I don't really do too much. Mary Harper had a really good idea. She just said check out Instagram. Yes, check out Instagram. Yes, yes. So definitely do that. I definitely love that Buffalo check idea. So maybe look for that because I, I, I like that. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night. I'm going to clean up and uh, we'll see you again. We'll see you behind the scenes on Instagram and then we'll see you live on Tuesday. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good night. I just want to see that finished. <laughs>